Ian, welcome to Bolton Wanderers. You must be really pleased to have arrived and really pleased with the opportunity that you've got. Yeah, great to get it done and over the line. Um, it's a fantastic football club and a great opportunity for me to come and you know, hopefully bring a brand and identity that people are going to enjoy watching, you know, see us attacking, scoring goals. That's what we want to see and, and get a, a packed stadium and, and at the top of the division and competing for promotion. It's a new challenge for the football club in the fourth tier of English football for the first time, I think, since the late 80s. Is it a challenge that excites you? 100% because this this club doesn't deserve to be in this division, but it is and we have to be realistic with that. We are, we are in League Two now. Uh, and obviously, you know, we are going to be a big fish in a small pond. Um, that's going to bring its own, you know, problems, and people are going to come here, this fantastic stadium, and, and raise their game. But we must make sure that we raise ours as well, and play, as, as I said, that brand and identity of attacking, exciting, expansive football that people really want to see. When it comes to objectives, then for the coming season, how do you evaluate the situation? Is the aim to try and get the club out of League Two as soon as you can, or is it a project? Yeah, there's, there's no. There's no two ways about it. We can't beat around the bush. We need to. We, we need to be getting promoted. There's no doubt about it. We need to be up there challenging. Um, there isn't any point sitting here saying that it's a project. This club should not be in League Two, and it's my job to make sure we get out of League Two as, as soon as we possibly can. How much potential do you see in the club? So much, and that's what excites me. Um, obviously, I, I, I was in a, a fantastic job, and we'd, we'd had a lot of success last season. Um, but you know, as soon as I heard of the interest, it was something that really interested me, uh, and I wanted to come here and, and get this club moving back in the right direction. But most importantly, playing the right the right way, in my opinion, and, and that exciting brand that I keep speaking about. Talking of League Two, you of course played in the division and, and was caretaker manager as well with Chesterfield. What sort of a challenge are you expecting the league to bring, and, and what sort of ingredients do you need to have in a team to be successful at this level? Yeah, it's difficult because there's, every game brings up different challenges. It's obviously you know Saturday, Tuesday, um, you know, some long journeys. Even though I think this league's quite local this this season, it, it's physically demanding. It's intense, so you do need a bit of a strong spine, a strong integral spine. But then, as I said, we'll get some quick, energetic players around that and, and really excite our fans by by being free scoring hopefully and as I said making this place a fortress again. You've arrived at Bolton after an incredibly successful season at Barrow guiding them to the National League title and as a result promotion to the Football League. You must be really proud of what you achieved there before you, you came here. Yeah it was great you know I've been doing this for, for two years now and it's it's been a whirlwind really um, but yeah I, I had a fantastic time there I've, I can't speak highly enough for that football club the way the fans took to me and our, and our brand and you know, as I said, they needed re-educating at first because they were used to seeing direct football. We, we re-educated them pretty quickly and then they, they were great with what they saw. Uh, the board supported me and we ended up with great achievement from the players playing ever so well last season. Again, that's done now though and I have to concentrate on what I'm going to do here, bring that brand and identity to, to Bolton Wanderers and make sure we're at the top of this division and challenging for promotion. Yeah, you talk about the brand. I've seen in places last season your team were referred to as Barrow Salona. It's an incredible comparison. Is it a philosophy of yours to have your team playing sort of positive, attractive football? Of course. And at the end of the day, football is an entertainment industry. It's an entertainment business, and people, you know, pay their hard-earned money to come and watch their football team on a Saturday. So they have a right to be entertained. And my view is, goals, attacking, expansive, attractive football is what they want to see. And hopefully we'll be bringing that this season and we can get the right results along the way. And if you get the two together, you've cracked it. And if we do that, I'm, I'm more than confident we can be at the top end of this division. Yeah, how important do you think it is for, for a team of yours to develop an identity and a, a recognisable way of playing football? It is important because, as I said, it, it's what I believe in. It's what I enjoy watching myself. Uh, I enjoy working with players on the training ground, working on patterns of play, um, different shapes, systems, you know, throwing curveballs at opposition, we, we're going to have you know, a lot of strings to our bow and, that, and that's what I want to see. We're going to need to, as I said, because there's some tough away fixtures and definitely at this place people are going to come and, and make it hard for us. So we need to have, you know, as I said, different ammunition, but we will have. We'll work very hard during pre-season and make sure we're ready come the start of the season. I'm sure you know about a lot about the club already. The northwest of England is, of course, an area that you are familiar with. Yeah, of course. It's a... It's a massive part of it and this club is a huge part of the town and community and it's, it's my job to re-engage with that town and community again and make you know, the, the community and the town proud of their football club again. And we can only do that by you know, setting our stall out pretty quickly, showing them what we're about on the, on the pitch, 
you know, we've done enough talking now we need to, to get down to business and make sure we re-engage with everyone again and get them proud of this football club. Looking at the squad, a number of young players have already been tied down for the foreseeable future, which is obviously positive news. Potentially somewhat of a rebuild on your hands in terms of recruitment and, and getting players in over the summer. But again, that's another exciting thing for me. You know, I get to, to more or less have a blank canvas and build a team how I see fit. You know, we are we we drill down into a lot of detail in terms of recruitment. Um, we are position specific. I have an idea of what we need for different positions, and we'll be looking at all sorts of recruitment to make sure we we fulfil that. It's a good time in many ways because there's going to be a lot of players out of contract and out of work looking for football clubs. And I'm, you know, with, with what we've got here, we are, you know, going to be at the top of a lot of, a lot of players' lists. And, and hopefully, as I said, we'll get the right ones in, play in the right way. We'll work very hard in training. We'll engage with the community again, get ourselves out there, and as I said, make make them proud of Bolton Wanderers again. Unfortunately, the club has been on a, a little bit of a downward fall in the last two or three years, and generally speaking, since relegation from the Premier League. Would it be fair to say that a winning min mentality has got to be sort of reinstilled in the football club and the players that come to the 100%, club? hundred percent, and the, the mental side of the game is a huge part of it. You cannot be underestimated. Um, you know, you have to initially behave like winners and champions before you know you start winning games consistently and you start winning promotions. You have you have to have that you know culture and environment set on the training ground, um, and we'll do that. You know, really quickly from the first day, as I said, we're going to have a, a pretty much a new squad to work with, and they'll understand, you know, how I do things and, and what we do on the training pitch, and they have to abide by that. And as I said, once you behave like winners and champions on a Saturday, you do it naturally. These are, of course, uncertain times in terms of when the players are going to be back in training, when the season will will start again. But I imagine you can't wait to to get stuck into a job and get onto the training. No, pitch. it's great. As I said, I see so much potential, so much potential, and it's. It's so exciting that you know I've got this platform to come here and and use these wonderful facilities, the training, the training facilities as well. You know, recruit a team that again are, are capable of exciting this town, and that's what we want to do.